don't believe everything you read on the goddamn internet. I am getting so sick of people doing that. Like, for General Hospital, they believe everything they read. And for, just in general, like, I said something for this stupid ass. I said something about stop wasting food, blah, blah, blah. There's homeless people that love to have that food, and blah, blah, blah. And they believe what he says. He lies so much all the time, and yet people are believing what he is saying. He says, I didn't eat the food, man, I don't eat it off camera, or I give it away off camera. Well, how do we know you're telling the truth when you don't show us that you are? You lie so much, how do we know you're telling the truth? And this bitch keeps messaging me, telling me not to worry about what he does with the food and shit. And I said, no, I gotta worry, because there's homeless people that can't afford that food that would love to eat that food. There's kids in Africa that would love to stop digging in the trash for food and would love to eat that food. Like, no, I'm going to worry about it. And then he's like, well, he's not wasting the food. And I'm like, oh, so you believe everything they say then? Because... I could say right now, off, yes, I may look fat, but off camera, I eat salads. Well, if you eat salads off cam, then why are you still fat? He says, well, off cam was I do this, this, and this. I eat this vegetable and that vegetable. Well, how do we know you're telling the truth if you don't prove it to us? I mean, if you, off camera you're eating that healthy stuff, then why are you so fat? That tells us you're lying. Because if people eat that stuff all the time and then just once a day or twice a day you eat the fattening stuff, then you shouldn't be fat. So it doesn't make sense. It means you're lying. And people don't know how to think and know how to use their brains and think they just go oh he says he doesn't waste food he oh he says him and Ellen eat it off camera oh he says he eat the healthy food off camera oh just because he says it 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 become because he says it it makes it true no just because he says it does not make it true he could be lying and and it's like me saying off camera I'm eating a fucking salad but on camera, I'm not going to eat a salad. Because you guys don't want to see that. When that's a lie. When I turn off this camera, I'm not going to be eating a salad. But I made you all believe that I was. Because I said it. You don't know me. We're not friends. You don't know me off camera. You only know what, what I say and, and tell you on camera. So therefore, you don't know what he does behind cameras, so you can't always assume that they're telling you the truth. Especially when they lie on camera all the fucking time. And it's the same thing with General Hospital. People leave the dumbest things. People come up with the dumbest things as in, I bet you Jason and, and Britt get together. Did you not see the episode where they're the way they're looking at each other oh they're gonna start dating okay you know how ridiculous that sounds and how stupid that sounds when Jason loves Sam and wants to be with Sam even though Sam thinks it's unsafe right now to be with Jason like come on now are you stupid well all of you not using your brain and still won't believe that Nina's daughter is Nell. All the signs are there. There's proof everywhere. And all of you still think it's Willa when it's not Willa. You guys think that Shiloh stole the necklace and gave it to Nell. So when Shiloh was a little boy and Nell was a little girl, he, he knew years later 
They're gonna meet a girl named Harmony, give a necklace to Harmony, to have Harmony give it to Willow, because they knew that years later, Nina, some girl named Nina, was gonna go in a coma, and some girl he doesn't know named Nell was gonna get that necklace. Like, he was gonna find a way to get that necklace. And then he's gonna say, hey little girl, you don't know me, but years later, you're gonna know me, so here's the necklace. Like, use your brain. It doesn't make sense. You guys are like, Shiloh gave her the neck, Or she stole the necklace from Shiloh when he died. Or whatever. Or, you guys just assume. Or, another one was, Nell stole the necklace. Okay, Nell wore the necklace when she was a little girl. Therefore, she had it when she was a little girl. So therefore, you're saying that she has found a random person named Nina and goes, and a random girl named Willow and goes, hmm, I bet you they're going to be mother and daughter someday. Or someday and I'm gonna know them I bet you I'm gonna know them someday so I better take this necklace steal it from Willow and keep it with me at all times because I might need it someday because I might know these girls someday to where I might need to use it sounds ridiculous right then there's one where you guys think that a Frank stole the necklace. Who's Frank? Frank is Nell's dad. You think he stole the necklace and gave it to Nell. I doubt he's going to know who the fuck Nina is and, and, and her child. And you guys are saying it's Willow, so let's say Willow and go, hmm. I better steal this necklace now because I've, I have a feeling that in years later, after I'm gone, they're going to, my daughter's going to need this necklace. No, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. They didn't know each other when Nell was a little girl. The necklace fit. Therefore, Nell is her daughter. Get over it. Get used to the idea. Just because you wanted it to be Willow does not mean it's going to be Willow. Willow never wore the necklace. Even one bitch photoshopped the necklace on Willow and said, It's Willow, see? She's wearing the necklace. And plus, if it was Willow, don't you fucking think that when Shyla or when Sasha was on camera wearing the necklace, she would have saw it and said something? And said, Hey, what are you doing with my necklace on? I didn't know that was missing. Hello? And all of you are like, I still think it's Bella. I still think it's Bella. Did you not watch last week's episode? Today is February 9th, 2021. Did you not watch last week's episode when it was proved that Nell was her mother? daughter like and then some of you are like Nell's too old it couldn't be her well guess what it's her get over it get used to it and stop believing the rumors there's even rumor, rumors and people making fake news saying that Jonathan Jackson's coming back to to General Hospital as Lucky Spencer no he's not you guys have been saying that for years it's like when Nicholas was off the show. You guys kept saying, he's coming back in September. And then he never came back. And I'm like, and you guys believe that rumor. Okay. He's coming back this, this Christmas. He's coming back this spring. He's coming back this summer. And he never did. Never did, never did, never did. For three years. Like, what the fuck, guys? And you believed it. You would think after the first time when it it didn't happen, you, you would go, oh, they lied. So therefore, you shouldn't believe everything you read on on uh, YouTube. 
I mean on the internet. More well, in YouTube, but yeah. People can lie. Like, I have an ex friend who's an asshole behind the scenes. He's mean to me, he was rude to me, he was not very nice to me. And if you went into his live streams, you would have saw all that. And and yet on camera he seems like he's a nice person, he's sweet, he's a good friend, he seems like it. But if you got to know him behind the, behind YouTube, you would be like, uh uh, he's not very nice. Like he would keep getting comments about you should do a face review, you should do a face review, do 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 and I kept telling him, Why hide your face? It's no big deal. And he was worried about his eye and everything else. Like, Don't worry about your eye. If they start hating you because of your eye, then those are not your fans. You block them. If just make a video once, tell them about your situation, and move on. And if they ask or say there's a video on it, go watch it. Once we stopped being friends and he blocked me for something I didn't do or convince a friend to do, he decided to copy me and start showing his face more after I've been telling him for years to do so. And then, so yeah, just remember that the YouTubers that you watch and love on on video, they're only showing you what they think you want to see, and they're not showing the, the real them. Me? I show the real me. I don't cookie sugar or anything. I don't lie about anything. I don't pretend I'm this way, and then behind the camera be a different way. Nope, I'm the same way, no matter what. And I don't ever lie to you guys. I just do the whole thing. You don't ask, I don't tell. Type of thing. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to finish this stupid guy's video. I don't know why I keep watching him, but I do. And later haters.